what is up youtube it's your girl special nicole welcome or welcome back backwards welcome back or welcome if you are a new subscriber and welcome to my old subscribers i thank y'all for visiting with me and returning you are what makes my make my youtube channel what it is you are who i do it for so if you knew you like what you see go ahead and hit that like button if you're old like it too share it with your mama cousin sister auntie brother whoever needs a little micro lock inspiration go ahead and hit that share button and subscribe if you aren't already so today's video we are going to talk about some of my lock regrets everyone i'm pretty sure who's on this journey has some things that they are concerned about or they wish they would have done differently in the beginning of their lock journey because the beginning is literally what paves the way for the entire journey and makes or breaks your locks so let's get into some of my regrets all right first on my list of lock regrets i'm pretty sure i probably talked about this or touched on it in past videos but i don't think i took enough time on my grid and the more that my locks mature the more I'm like, dang, I wish I would have took a little bit more time making sure that I had the same amount or the same width um, for each lock. A lot of mine are not that perfect square part that you would like to have in your grid. And some of them are kind of just rectangular. And that kind of hinders, not hinders, but kind of makes it a little harder to have straighter parts and kind of that neatness that a lot of people want with micro locks and sister locks so mine are still neat but there are some areas that I could have took a little bit more time making sure that each part matched and was symmetrical and straight um also with your parts when you don't part them the same you'll end up with different sizes so I have some locks that are bigger than others and or some that are really really skinny um one it might be twisted up i should have left it out well i had one that i discovered that was really really skinny compared to the locks that it was like directly beside um well i can show y'all another example like a lot of my ones in the front of my head like here like these are significantly well i won't say significantly but you can see None of these are really like the same size, but it blends together for now, but I'm worried about what it'll look like once my locks have matured and kind of set into their, I want to say body, but they're not human. When they become who they're supposed to be, I don't know what they'll look like. Right now it's fine because my hair has volume and it's full, but once my hair loses the volume when the locks are matured. I don't know what it'll look like so that is a regret not taking enough time to make sure that my partings parts were even and the same size my next lock regret which is pretty funny because I just talked about how I wanted them to match in size and I was talking about how I have some that are smaller than others I actually sometimes wish my locks were smaller I know I always talk about how I didn't want a lot of micro locks on my head because I knew I would have to maintain them myself but I feel like if I went in it went into it with the mindset of putting enough micro locks on my head that my head could hold I would have more even locks I wish I would have started smaller because I know as my locks mature they're going to swell and then condense and I don't want them to be bigger than what I anticipated and I know I know your locks are going to be the size of your part so my locks are going to be small regardless but sometimes I wish they were smaller I do next on my lock regret list I wish I wish that I had braided my ends because baby that unraveling stuff she about drive me insane so I wish that I would have uh, braided my ends so that it will help with the unraveling that you experience with twist um well twist locks so I didn't braid the ends of my locks at all I braided the root um but I did not braid the end 
and I wish I did. I didn't start braiding the ends until I started experiencing so much unraveling later down the line. And now I still, if I have something unravel, I'll braid it down. But I wish I would have did that. So if you are trying to start your micro locks yourself, make sure you braid the ends. If you are doing two strand twists, it will save you a lot of time and energy. Ooh, this is key. I, I wish I would have did more research. I did not do as much research as some of the girls out here in the world. I am an impulsive person sometimes, not all the time. I did enough research where it was like, oh, I can do that. But I didn't do a lot of research into the maintenance or um, lock stages or what to expect as your locks mature. Um, how your locks are going to mature differently with micro locks versus traditional locks. I didn't do that type of research. Um, how to uh keep your lock take care of your locks like i didn't look up that stuff i just looked up how to start micro locks that's pretty much all i was looking up so if you are and i'm pretty sure most of you who are watching my channel are interested in starting micro locks just started your micro locks all that kind of stuff I researched. I did a video on this before the things you need to do before you start your micro lock journey research honey do it like read all the things look up all the things watch all the youtube videos because this is a whole different type of thing than like dealing with your natural loose natural hair it's completely different the things you did when you are loose natural you won't do when you're locked your hair won't do the same thing it's going to do something completely different and research that's what i'm saying i wish i would have did more research so I will kind of be better prepared as I enter these different stages in my lock journey. So this one would be more of a concern and not really a regret. But I'm concerned like all the other regrets I listed. I'm concerned about what my hair is going to look like when it finally gets to that stage where it's completely locked. Um, because like your how you start your locks and how you maintain them has 100% big effect on what your locks are going to look like at the end of that journey which is not an end but once you reach that locked stage and i know my locks are different sizes um that's pretty much it like i know they're different sizes so i just don't know what that's gonna look like when this is all said and done and i hope i don't regret it so that is a concern of mine nothing i can do about it now we in here now. We in this thing. These special locks, they unique. Whatever they end up looking like, they gonna be unique. <laughs> and last up, I get asked this a lot. Do I miss my loose natural hair? And the question, I mean, the answer to that question would have to be, I don't know. No, it's... I would say it's 80% no and then a 20% yes. I don't miss my na loose natural hair because this journey is so much easier. I just feel free and not held by the I got to do my hair chains. I can just go however I go and that is that. Um, but the 20% of me misses my loose natural hair because I do miss protective styles. Um, I just miss that. I don't miss the actual loose natural hair like twist out and my fro and puff and all that I don't I don't miss that but I miss being able to put a wig on miss getting some uh box braids or I didn't even get to experience knotless braids they came out when I locked my hair up so I didn't even get to experience that um and like twist uh faux locks I miss those I miss doing the switch up like with protective styles I know that it is possible to do it on my micro locks, but I don't know if I would want to because I just feel like I wouldn't enjoy the tension on my head because I haven't had to have that in so long. And this is this kind of tension will be different than my loose natural hair tension because it's going to be pulling on individual locks and not necessarily just a group of strands of hair. So I would say I 20% miss my loose natural hair just 20 not the full 100 i don't want i don't miss wash day i don't miss waiting for twist outs to dry i don't miss none of that 
at all. I just miss braids. <laughs> that is all. I am going to do a video with y'all showing you, taking you on a journey of my loose natural hair and everything I did to my hair before I started my lock journey because I have never really talked to y'all about that or showed it to you so I think it's about time that we go down memory lane and we get into that so y'all can know what I was doing with my hair before my micro lock journey began um but this video was short and sweet I don't have that many regrets which is a great thing and if you are concerned about starting your lock journey and if you're going to have any regrets you probably won't because it is really an easy journey like time has flown I'm already 14 months 14 months in and it feels like I just started yesterday the growth is evident I look back on pictures in my beginning journey I'm like dang my hair was little and I mean I still think it's little now but it's not as little she got a little uh to her now but you won't regret it the regrets I listed are really small and minor. They don't even really count. But that's it. Like, those are the regrets that I have. So I promise you, you will enjoy the journey. So if you're looking for the sign to lock your hair, this is it now. This is it now because you probably clicked on this because you thought I was going to tell you all these reasons why you don't need to get micro locks. That ain't what I was doing. Nope. So go ahead and start your journey now. Mm-hmm. Yes, you. But anyway, that is all I have for y'all today. Like I said, um, hit that like button, share button, subscribe button, whatever button you ain't never clicked before when you watch the video of mine, click it today. Just do that. Do that for your girl. Do that, do that for your neighbor. Share with your neighbor because your neighbor need to know this info too. So, as always, I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.